F31 cheated on husband over layouts. Story 1. I've been married for 8 years. Typical girl next door, lost my virginity on my wedding night. Good girl, that sort of thing. I became pregnant and gave birth to a gorgeous baby girl 4 years ago and our perfect lives were made even better. I had a beautiful house, s timey husband, wonderful s time life, amazing daughter, and a fulfilling career. I had everything. Two years ago I was laid off. The bank I worked at sold our bank card division to another company out of state. They offered to transfer me but my husband makes more money so it made sense to decline and look for another job at home. I was disappointed and upset but I went into unemployment thinking it was just a minor setback. I had several interested employers, I was good at what I did. But I became pregnant again, and had to delay my job search. Unfortunately I miscarried and they sent me into a depression, and the job offers dried up at the same time. I felt lost. I believe I was always a good mother, I made that top priority. But personally I know I wasn't getting the personal achievement and satisfaction I needed in my life that my career gave me. I know many will blast me for that, but that's a personal thing. It affected me as a wife as well. I wasn't as happy and joyous as I normally was, and our s time life went from PRN star status to barely treading water. My husband bless him did everything he could to help me, even sitting on my side of the bed in tears, telling me hell do whatever it takes to make me happy just please tell him. But I couldn't tell him because I had no idea what it would take to make me happy. A few months later, a man we both are friends with, who used to go to our church, ran into us at a restaurant. He sat down with us at our invitation and we had a pleasant conversation. When he asked what I was up to and I said I was between jobs, he made me an offer. Hess a photographer, and wanted me to pose for him. I laughed him not a model. But that's what he wanted. Real women of the world. He was serious. I thought it over all night and I became excited about it. It was clothed and not nude or lingerie. My husband was skeptical but when he saw I wanted to do it he relented. I posed in normal clothes jeans, khakis, dresses, skirts. I did six photo sessions and they were so much fun I felt s timey even though I was just dressed in my normal clothes. Each time I will say that the style of dress he had me wear became a little more s timey, heels, then a shorter skirt, then a little c evage, then something tighter. I saw the pictures of my last session and I looked amazing. I wanted to show my husband but the photographer told me had put them into a portfolio when we were done. He came up with an idea how about lingerie for our anniversary? It was three months away but I liked the idea. My husband would love it and I had become very comfortable with this photographer. So I posed in lingerie. At first I was a little uncomfortable but as we kept going I felt better. In fact I felt great, really great. Too great as I got carried away. It took a long time but I slid the straps of my teddy down and exposed my beasts. He didn't ask I just did it. He took a lot of pictures of that, and as I'm sure you guessed, he came over and kissed me. We had s time there on the set. It was fantastic s time to be honest. Everything about it was amazing. And we didn't do it just once but several times that afternoon. I actually did a s time act with the photographer that my husband always wanted to try but I kept saying no. I just totally let loose. It didn't hit me until I got home. When I saw his clothes, saw our bed, the smell of our surroundings. It hit me and I cried. A lot. I stopped posing right away. The photographer kept texting and calling me but I didn't return them, nor did I ever see the pictures he took of me. I want to admit that I told my husband immediately that I cheated on him but no I didn't. I didn't tell him for many months. I finally did tell him, face to face. He was stunned, and heartbroken. That was over 5 months ago and he hasn't touched me since. He hasn't divorced me, he is civil to me but not loving and compassionate like he used to be. But he used to be all over me now he won't touch me at all. It hurts how bad I screwed up and I wish I could take back the pain I've caused. But I can't. And I may lose the only man that ever meant something to me. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, Vailp you had a good run, best not to cheat on her next partner. Redditor 2, this is beyond ducked up. You admit he was there for you through everything, 
being your support and offering to do whatever it takes through your depression and your fix was sleeping with someone multiple times, you don't deserve him. If he stays, for whatever reason, spoil the duck out of him because he deserves it. Women are so quick to complain there are no good men left then do s it like this. For sure this goes both ways and there are s it people on both sides of the aisle but this s it gets me. It is one thing when a relationship is struggling, fighting, etc. that doesn't make it right but it is relatable. But this? This is tough. Best of luck to you. We all make mistakes, we just need to learn from them and move on. Story 2. I 28F cheated on my husband 27M of 4 years, I confessed, he forgave me, but am I doomed to cheat forever? A few months ago I did the standard, stupid, lame, cliche, I got drunk and made out with a male friend thing. I had no excuse, I have no one to blame but myself although the dude was supposed to be my friend so I was a little pissed at him, and I told my husband about it at literally the first opportunity. My husband forgave me immediately, and we have been working on our relationship pretty steadily since it happened. I am worried about myself though. See, I never felt guilty about kissing the other guy. I felt the responsibility of having broken my marriage vows, and I told my husband about it because I felt he deserved to know, but I didn't feel bad about what I did. Shouldn't I be, like, crying myself to sleep at night and pulling my hair out in shame, or something? Shouldn't I be unable to eat or focus on tasks because of the all-consuming guilt? I don't know. I just feel, sort of, nothing about the situation. It was a thing that happened. It doesn't seem to affect me personally. It's like I compartmentalized it away. What worries me, is that now that I know that I can cheat and not feel bad about it, what happens the next time a hot guy makes a move on me while I'm tipsy? Am I doomed to be a cheater forever? Should I leave my husband and just be alone or seek out a poly relationship? I don't know. I am worried about myself and just need to shout that into the void. TL, doctor, I cheated, and my husband forgave me, but I don't feel guilty. Am I doomed to be a cheater forever? Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, sometimes, people do the wrong thing and still feel fine about it. You lack empathy, but you still have control over your own actions. If you don't want to cheat, don't cheat. If you feel like you will lose the ability to make wise decisions while drunk, don't drink. Redditor 2, I'm not really sure if you're serious. Are you suggesting that because you're not overwhelmed with guilt that means you're going to cheat in the future? That's quite a logical leap, whether you feel guilt or not doesn't mean you don't have control over yourself. Redditor 3, this is a legitimate concern and you're a good person for worrying about it. Seek out professional help to improve the amount of empathy you have on a daily basis. Redditor 4, there are a few issues that I'm seeing here. First, have you figured out why you kissed this guy in the first place? What motivated you, and what were you hoping to get out of it? If you didn't feel bad about what you did, but you realized that it was a breach of trust and a violation of your relationship boundaries, then not feeling guilty is kind of a concern. If I had to guess, it's because you feel like it was justified for some reason, a reason that you've likely rationalized to yourself. Probably time to take a look at that. Finally, you mentioned that you were pissed at the friend. While it was clearly not okay for him to make a move on you like that, you responded to it by willingly making out with him. Did you somehow signal to him that you were into an approach by flirting with him? If you actually want to avoid cheating in the future, you're going to need to really examine your motives here. Figure out what needs weren't being met in your relationship, and figure out what sort of rationalization you used to go ahead and make out with this dude. Then, you have to figure out how to short-circuit any situation that might lead to cheating by taking on new behaviors instead of letting things slide to the point where you'll rationalize that it's okay to make out or more with other guys.